do you have a ghost living with you? Do you have a disembodied spirit walking around your house or, or hanging around your life? Are you seeing things move around in your house for no reason and it's scaring you? It's scaring your children. Are you being pulled out of your bed or are TVs just randomly turning on or, you know, and you see that static or whatever, which I don't think they have much static anymore. That was that old like uh, time. Yeah. When I was growing up, TV still had static. Yeah. Now, when Keegs was coming up, I don't think so. But when I was coming up, there was static TVs. Um but TVs randomly turning on and off, telephones ringing, nobody there. Back in the day, again, I grew up in the times of telephones. I actually remember the first beginnings of when cell phones were getting popular. All right, I'm telling my age, 35. I'm still young. You're not though. that old, man. Again. I know I'm. I'm young. I'm, like, I'm young. I'm young. Like you're a dinosaur. But I remember things. So like some of these Gen Zers will watch this and they'll think I'm ancient. They'd be like, "What's a rotary phone? What's a A track? What's all this stuff?" I'd be like, "Man, good gracious." So we're only getting older, man. We're getting older in a younger way. Amen. Prophesy. Right? But, you, you know, I'm also saying it like this because you can look at old movies and you see this stuff, right? Uh, stuff floating around, you know, babies being picked up and put down, <laughs> all dogs going crazy because they're seeing, quote, unquote, ghosts. I call it demons. It means you got demons hanging around, messing around. And stuff like that. Now, in a little while after we get done on this part, I'm going to actually talk about the angelic aspect that a lot of people would ignore. So you yeah. guys you guys are going to get some good teachings on this thing. Um, but before I do that, let's talk about the ghost thing. So, Keegan, I know you were telling me that you were big into this because of your grandmother or something like that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can dialogue a little bit with me. How was your ghost hunting adventures back in the day you know my mother was bi was big on ghost hunting too she yeah. was i go in the house and she's watching that stuff all the time and this stuff was happening in her house yeah and i'm like well, why do you think you know but tell us a little bit about your uh, ghost hunting history yeah um so i grew up with my grandparents um and my grandma would tell me i'd come home from daycare when i was two three years old and that i would bring um different people home with me and play with them in my room like I'd bring like the grandmother was one of them that I would bring home and I would play with the grandmother uh, in my room. And she would show me pictures of her older relatives that I never even knew because they passed away before I was born. And she was like, is this the grandmother? And I was like, yeah, that's the grandmother. And um, hold on. You were hanging out with people you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you, you would be like, that's them. Yeah. Oh, you're going to take us deep. Go ahead. And so I was doing that. My grandparents actually lived they bought a pastor's old house that was next to a church. And that house is what held the, like when people were being prepared for the funeral services, that's where they would hold the bodies that was in that house. And so my grandparents just grew up believing that the house was haunted. Like, like it was really haunted. I mean, do, things do were, you remember seeing them? Yeah. So do you remember that? Yeah. You remember I, seeing the spirits? Yeah. Like oh. I literally would like wake up in the middle of the night and I would see like, I, I, I would see all kinds of stuff. I'd see just people walking by down the hallway. I would see like like dark shadows. Just like, like physically, you would see it. Yeah, I would see people come up. And actually, um, even all the way up until I was... Were you scared when you in saw In high it? school. Honestly, it was crazy because I got so used to it. So I grew up sleeping with the fan on all the time growing up because I just kept hearing voices at night all the time. Um, it sounded like people were arguing, people were coming up, like trying to talk to me and I would just like, you know, have to be like, no, like stop, I need to go to sleep. Um, so yeah, I definitely saw a lot of stuff growing up. Man, that sounds really familiar to me because I had a big thing with seeing shadows yeah. and being held down in the bed and hearing things walking on the roof and yeah. I would feel, uh, doorknobs doing stuff. I, I once had an ex that came in and she was like, you got a big man living with you. Is it your old grandpa or whatever? He's not very happy. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And the girl was a little out there. Like she was in outer space. Yeah. And she had, you know, she was probably quote unquote wanting to be psychic or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but she was she was on it though because I was I was living a crazy life and they probably had access to mess with me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember even being twelve years old and my grandma was part of a ghost hunting club and they go all over to different, you know, abandoned hospitals. Oh. And, and you lived and with your that. grandma. Uh, during part, so when I was younger, yes. And then also when I was older too, I lived with her for when I was a senior yeah. in high school. But even when I was 12, 13, I remember I'd like beg my mom on the weekends. I want to go with them ghost hunting. And so just to that. qualify this, and mm -hmm. I, I'm interrupting for a reason. 
you lived with you lived with your grandmother who was into ghost hunting, mm-hmm. and you were experiencing seeing ghosts. Oh yeah. So it's somewhere in the DNA. Yeah. It was. Mm-hmm. It was all the. It was all the time. I mean, we'd have ghost. Ghost hunters was on all the time. Um, medium shows, and so I remember being twelve, and there were people who like wanted me to go ghost hunting with them because I remember I would just go and I would just see things. I would see things. I would hear things. I'd be like, hey, you know, there's a ghost right over there, right? And so I even remember um, I, I, I was actually, they called me a medium. Like, oh, like Keegan is a medium. Like he can wow. see this. Like we need to bring him with us because every single time he comes with us, we see so many ghosts and so many apparitions and they would catch things on cameras. Like I would literally, even I remember like in high school one time, my friends hid from me and uh like and my friend had a huge huge house i mean like multiple stories like and i was like hey where hey like i saw a little girl running around the house and i knew that she was a ghost and i was like hey where where did my friends hide and she told me like oh yeah they're in this bedroom in the closet and i went in there and they were in there like you know what i'm saying just wow. like crazy wow. like i i saw go- like i saw them and i like i like i could talk to them and i could hear them and it, it was crazy stuff it was crazy stuff really it's a prophetic ability that you carry or carried that you now carry for the kingdom of God. So Amen. we know that you're big on visuals, visualization. I believe that's why you're attached to me because of similar graces um, and active, getting that activated and moving in the right direction. So people like to hang around you because you knew the boogeyman. Yeah. I want to say this too. My grandma was also the same way. And I believe that she's very, very prophetic because she could see things and she could hear things too all the time. Yeah. And that's how the devil works. You know, he perverts gifts and yeah. he plays off of them and he's like, Oh man, this, if this person finds out that they're truly prophetic, I've seen with their bloodline, I see way down in the history of their bloodline. There was a great prophet. And last thing I want is this prophet fetic thing to continue to flow. So let's go ahead and pervert it so that this yeah. gift won't continue to mess up my kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know, um, man, I really felt, I felt strong about what I was saying right there, uh, by the Holy spirit. So, it's it's just it's not cool that the devil does that but the beautiful thing is people like us we get to awaken the call we get to awaken the destiny that Jesus mm-hmm. has predestined them for here on this earth so that's why it's very important to give out the good news and preach the gospel <laughs> <laughs>